Hey everyone, I'm sure you're no quitting with Active Living Journey with Aditya Birla Health Insurance has been as fruitful and amazing as it's been for me. And on this last day, the 14th day, I would want all of you guys to have like a round of applause, a pat on your back for sticking with your health goals and for sticking up with your new year resolutions and giving us a chance to bring this program to you. I am Manisha Ghori, a wellness, yoga and a health coach. And today I am going to teach you five habits under five minutes that you can do that will change the way you show up in life. So on this last day, on the 14th day, we, this curated health journey has all been put together. So different aspects you've learned throughout this journey, we have created this last day so that you can take under five minutes of different things that you can incorporate in your life to get better at living. These exercises are meant for everyone. So in case you are not working from home, you can still get immense benefits. It will help boost your mood as well. It fills your body with these feel good hormones and you will actually feel more open. Your chest opens up, start breathing better. So the first one we're going to talk about is opening up the spine and releasing tension from the spine. So the first one is just take your hands up and just like stretch. So take the hands behind your ears and open this up. Making sure you're breathing and expanding your chest and the belly. Do this a couple of times and hold this for a few seconds. You'll start feeling a very nice feeling in your spine. You will already start feeling the openness here. The second one that we do is you keep your hands out here with your fingers pointing up and your palms facing down. But the hands are completely straight, so the elbows are straight. From here, you drop your neck to one side. Slowly roll the neck back and an inhale, exhale, roll it forward. You will feel the stretch all along here, your neck and also the back, your scapula. So as you continue doing this, you will feel a lot more opening up all the tension leaving your body. So do this again for five to seven times on one side. And when you're ready, drop down to the other side. Hold here for a few seconds. Ear is towards your shoulder. Roll it back in an inhale. Exhale, roll it forward. Roll it back and roll it forward. So that's your stretching while you're working or while you're sitting. So this is valid for everyone. Everyone sits, right? Okay, so the next one that we're going to talk about is exercise. How to bring about exercise in a way that it energizes your body in between. It's a great habit to have is a walk. Go for a 20 to 30 minute walk a day. Even if you can't go outside, you can't step out, it's raining or whatever the weather looks like, walk inside the house. Don't have to do like brisk walking or something. I'm saying just move, just go for that walk. The other one that I would tell you is squats. Squats help work the entire body. So squats help with your core, they help with your legs, they help with your posture. They also help with strengthening the parts of the body that you use to sit down and will actually support your knees. Everything that we talk about in old age or as we grow older and we have knee problems, we have lower back problems, most of those can get taken care of with squats. Squats also when you do about 10 to 20 of them can become cardiovascular for you. Getting your heart rate up, filling your body with endorphins, those feel good hormones that just make you smile right after that. What I want you to do is come off the chair. The first one you're doing is the easier version. A little bit further away from the chair. Cross your hands if you want in front. Start with hands in front if you want. From here you walk and sit, touch and then come back up. So this is to make sure that you're still supported with the chair. And you don't have to go really deep. So this is when you're just starting out. So sit, touch and come back up. In case you're very used to the sports, then what you do is you take the wider stones with the widest stance, place your hands on the front again, and your feet are going to be pointing upwards a little bit. 
Hands here in the center. Go sit deep and back up. Sit deep and back up. You will notice the knees are over the ankles and you're not, there's no pressure on the knees. In case this is too much, use a wall. Right, so it depends again where you are in your practice. Go slow, start with the chair, and then progress down. So not too many of these, about 10 or 20. Nutrition, I, um, I've, I've heard it from so many people. I cannot give up sugar. I, I want to eat those feel good foods. Yeah, I'm not asking you to give anything up. What I'm asking you is, uh, increase the nutrition density. It means being responsible for your health by putting in foods which will help your body build immunity, build your system, your skin, give you a glow, give you great hair, give you great nails. Also, which will help you train more, which will help you study more, concentrate more, be able to make better decisions at work. So nutrition is such a big part of our lives that a lack of nutrition is what causes the diseases. Whatever you're eating, add water. So have water first thing when you wake up in the morning. Vegetables. Once again, before you eat your lunch or your dinner, just have a plate or a bowl of vegetables. But having like a bowl of veggies with whatever you wanna have for dinner or for lunch is a great way to compound and add nutrition to any diet. It can be done any time of the day. It doesn't have to be empty stomach, but is a life or life changer. It changes everything in how you show up. But let's go into diaphragmatic breathing. So what I want you to do is please both the hands on your belly. You will take a deep breath in and you'll inflate the belly and deflate as you breathe out. Inflate and deflate. <clears throat> Do this just five times when you wake up. Do this five times after your lunch. Do it five times before you go to bed. The last thing I want to talk about is meditation. Like a lot of us, um, we've heard so many benefits of meditation. And, but every time we think of meditation, we think of these yogis sitting for hours, eyes closed and just not thinking of anything and that just intimidates us. Meditation can be very, very simple. And today what we learn is something called body scan meditation. So it's a mental check-in with each part of your body. How is your day? How are you doing? We're kind of checking with each part of our body how it is. So that's your mindfulness practice, that's also your self-care practice, that's also your meditation practice. See the eyes, take a long deep breath in, exhale and relax the body. Deep breath in, exhale and relax the body. Hope you enjoy these five simple habits to get better at living with other Pimperla health insurance. Your fitness journey does not have to end in these 14 days, it's the start of the journey. If you incorporate these five simple things in your life, you can show up as a completely different person. You can up-level your body with the exercises that you learned. You can up-level the body with the stretches you learned. You have no tension to feel great in the body. You can also incorporate the breath work to show up better, make better decisions, have better relationships have better interpersonal bonding with people because now you will not lose your mind because you are in control. You also learn mindfulness. As we said, your journey does not need to end here, but it, it's a big starter for the rest of you. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you soon.